rapid fire jokes refresh a long running comedy. This is probably one of the best episodes I've seen in quite a while, and the trend continues for the new season to keep delivering fresh comedy, we haven't seen on this particular level in quite a long time. In fact, compared to the last two episodes, the comedy has built itself up to exceptional levels. It seems as though either new writers were hired, or the signature ones have taken comedy classes to find out what's actually funny and what works best with comedic writing styles. Joke after joke after joke delivers great satisfaction and much joy. Family Guy seems to be finally listening to its audience and taking pride in breathing new life into itself. The only clunker of this episode is one mystifying thing, Joe is paraplegic, which means he's paralyzed from the waist down. So how would the nerves be functional for him to even achieve an erection in the first place? Maybe that's the point of the joke where humor can be found, much like the mega bit in the blockbuster episode. Or may I just like my humor to be based on realism? Either way, there was so much enjoyment in this episode. My favorite bits were when Peter sat on Chris's face in his wrestling unitard and the bit at the end with Peter dressed as a Chippendale, while Lois was dressed as a nurse. It seems as though Family Guy is taking notes from its counterpart American Dad by using more of the sexy parent trope to spice up the fun. I greatly approve. The parts with Stewie and Brian going along with the car adventures was spitfire funny. I loved every single gag about that one. I also love that there is more being done with Chris and that he's interacting more with the other characters in a way that's actually funny. Again, the writers are definitely getting better at delivering what the audience wants. Overall, I'd say this episode is 8.5 out of 10. Absolutely fantastic. Keep it up, family guy. Subscribe today.